all right so what is going on today youtube C coming at you guys with a another discussion video and if you read the title right yes um konami needs to hurry up and fix this thing but before we do get started i would like to say if you guys do enjoy this uh video or you know videos like this and you want to see more or you, like, you just you know like the video and you want to see what else my channel has to offer go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and leave a like go ahead and comment and let me know what you guys think of my topic i'm about to discuss today and if you agree or disagree or you know pretty much what is your um solution to the problem i'm about to talk about leave it down in the comments below and also if you guys want to help the channel out either click the ad or um clicking one of the donation links paypal or patreon we already have two patreons and uh yeah so hopefully you know we do add more and you guys do uh believe in the channel enough to do that so without further ado let's go ahead and get started now today we're going to be talking about something that konami i think desperately needs to fix or um Yu -Gi -Oh may be going down a hill that it won't be able to climb itself out of no this is not another one of them oh well Yu -Gi -Oh is dying because the attendance of one of them no we're not doing none of that because that's stupid i feel like a lot of people are incentivized to say that either that or they're just trying to be counter Yu -Gi -Oh, counter something just to be just to be that person um no a new game is not going to kill Yu-Gi-Oh. i feel the only thing that can really kill Yu-Gi-Oh is itself which i feel like it's going down the path because we need to talk about one thing that is bothering a lot of players and i've, I've seen it i've been thinking about this for the past couple of weeks and i've been saying to myself damn this is kind of really really bad and i started to think like there's nothing else like this and it's very very problematic and that is extra linking now um i don't know about you guys but extra linking i feel is a very big problem konami needs to address now um a simple solution to that could be easily what what, what i figure is the best thing to do because they already did something like this in the past where we had um the draw world where you only can draw uh, you, you use it you used to draw six uh during your opening turn a lot of you may not know that but yeah you were able to draw six on your opening turn and then people were complaining about that because decks started getting better and better more powerful and more powerful so konami said all right well we'll cut that down to five so now you don't get that extra draw during your turn um so i feel like the thing that they should do is enact the world where you cannot actually link your opponent during turn one i feel like that is a easy alternative um or easy solution to this big problem and it is a big problem because think about this folks um oh yeah and also they did do something similar to pendulums where they moved it to the spell and trap zone because before you can activate uh pendulums on the other you, you they literally changed the whole field but you can uh, activate pendulums in their own uh, set scale i mean set uh positions and stuff and then you can still set five and that was a very big problem because with pepe they had a card card guiden ariande um and if you guys don't know what that does whenever it's destroyed by card effect or battle um no matter where it's at you can reveal three traps and add one to your hand or your opponent basically randomly chooses so what they will do is use cards like uh, Luster Dragon. They would use cards like Wavering Eyes, a Pendulum Sorcerer to just pretty much summon, pop that off as many times as you can, search basically every trap in your deck, and where your, your opponent chooses what trap you get, but you pretty much search out every trap in your deck, and now you have five set, and then you have two scales, and five monsters, and seven cards, six cards in hand, and it was pretty much impossible to come back from there but i feel like extra linking is pretty much in is not in that category because at least with that you're still able to go through your extra deck you're still able to play the game i feel extra linking is it is is a step beyond that i think it's the worst thing um that can happen now is extra linking should be completely cut out the game no if you get extra link turn two or turn three whatever you whatever turn you get after turn one if you had a if you had your chance to do your thing and your opponent goes off and extra link you then that's just something you got to deal with but doing it turn one is i feel it's very detrimental to the game and it's causing a lot of players to be really upset now i know usually when you get players get upset or they complain about something they never really leave but i feel like this can really turn somebody off especially newcomers or kids pretty much the target demographic quote unquote um of the game well not really quote unquote this is pretty much built towards kids but um if you want new players to the game and then they, they get in and they see this like yeah it's cool if they do it but if you're getting in the game and you're just learning stuff and then somebody just extra links you and then it's like oh i can't go into my extra deck so basically 
through a mechanic, I can stop basically you from even using the mechanic. And that's where I feel like it's wrong because um, it, with the new Master Door, you're only able to summon one from the extra deck. But, you know, like you, uh, like I pretty much said in this video, you're able to actually link your opponent if you have the necessary cards. There's a lot of one card combos, two card combos, three card. This is a myriad way, myriad amount of ways to get to an extra link. And doing it turn one meaning I can't play. I have no ability to go through my extra deck. I have no way to basically break the lock because of the nightmare cards. But nightmare cards on their own aren't, I mean, on their own, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty uh, generic and, you know, everybody can use them. But when you couple that with the effect that you extra link me, now I can't destroy nothing by battle or by card effects or neither can I target them. It's very hard to crack that board, and unless you're playing Cyber Dragons, Monarchs, or just basically some random deck that outs extra links, you're not going to have a fun time. And I feel like that is something that needs to change. I feel like Konami needs to implement a rule or something to stop extra linking on turn one, because think about this. Pendulums, even though that is the dumbest mechanic of all time, I, I still hold that in the toppest of toppest of dumb shit that ever to come out in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I feel like even with that mechanic, yeah, I can pin some in five, or you used to be able to pin some in five every single turn, but what it did not do is stop you, stop your opponent, basically stop your opponent from doing anything. I can pin some five all I want. I can spam the board with five monsters and have five of the biggest boss monsters, but what it did not do was shut my opponent from using any part of the mechanic. Like, just imagine if there was an exceed that says, oh, well, neither player can X, X Y, Z, or you can't special something from your extra deck if I control this many X, Y, Zs, or something like that. Um, fusion, synchros, nothing else, rituals, no other, uh, basically, mechanic uh, pr basically put into the game was able to stop your opponent from using the mechanic against you. Um, and I feel like this is a big problem. Now, yes, uh, when it initially got announced, Extra Lincoln, or well, once again, it was reserved for a certain amount of decks. But as of now, Armageddon Knight can get you to an Extra Link. Uh, Terror Top can get you to an Extra Link. Bonefire can most likely get you to an Extra Link. There's so many ways that you can get to an Extra Link in any deck. I feel like it's becoming way too powerful. And it's, once again, it's just really like lockdownish where it's like you didn't even have a certain amount of cards you didn't have to draw into this combo you didn't have to search you didn't have to do all these plays to where if it gets stopped pretty much you know you it, it's literally put in your extra deck it does not have to do nothing with your main deck all you have to do is put in six cards which is like i said triple uh, triple malicious and, tr and triple armageddon knight and you're able to extra link your opponent you know just another any other warrior i mean you'd be able to just extra extra link your opponent and it's in it and I like I said it's, it's just very unfair um, I like I said it, if you guys have any solutions you guys let me know down below but yeah I, I feel like this should definitely not be a turn one thing there should be a turn two and beyond I feel like this will fix a lot of it and it, it would get so it would get some players to stop complaining I know it won't be that oh well you have the combo okay going game two. Oh, you have the combo game three like it should not be like that um, and it, it probably was cool for the first, I would say, the month or two. Oh, you know, it's surprising that this deck can do it, that deck can do it. But then, when you think about it in a competitive sense, what, 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 where do we really accomplish? Oh, I can actually, you can actually, game three, if I don't have any responses, you know, basically I just lose. And then, on top of that, Gumbler is, I mean, why is that even a card? We should just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, hopefully, Konami gets rid of that, sees that as the problem. And then think about it, like, not only can you not special summon from your extra deck, or you locked out of your extra deck technically, um, you you have to two cards to start with, with basically one because the trigates on the board. But once again, that's all about the ban list. But <clears throat> still, um, there's like it, that should not be promoted. It shouldn't have be easy to do, which you know it's very easy to do in today's game. Um, and every deck is pretty much doing it. And if you're not doing it, you're most likely not winning. Um, there may be a few sprinkle here and there, but just think about it. The I think the YC, yeah, YCS 200 is coming up. And I feel like what Konami should do, if they want the most players out of, if they want the most bang for their buck, if they want the most people to attend, the most people to talk about it, the most traction it needs to gain, I think they need to introduce something and something fast, something that players can just get used to. Um, we're not most likely getting the ban list until after the YCS, and I know a lot of people disagree with that because they're tired of Gokis, they're tired of pretty much all the stuff that's going on now, but I feel that if you take away extra linking on your first turn, 
I feel like a lot of people really, I mean, they'll still want to ban us because it's been over three months and we're very impatient people. But I feel like a lot of people will be like, you know what? I can deal with Goki because now they, they can put a try get up on a board or if they do, go, if they, they can still do the gumbler and stuff, all that. But I'm still able to go to my extra deck. And that's what really makes the, uh, the, the Goki deck really powerful is it stops your opponent from going to the extra deck. If I'm able to go to my extra deck, that means I'm able to out your board. I'm able to do stuff because I have powerful cards in my extra deck that once again I can utilize to, you know, break the board. Now, if you get gumblered and you, you still can't win, then hey, once again, gumbler is a problem, but that is something the ban list should be able to fix. It should not be an inherent mechanic that stops your opponent from using said mechanic uh, on you. I mean, basically on their turn. Like I said, pendulums never did that. XYZ, synchros, fusions, rituals, nothing else does that. I do like the link mechanic in general because they're basically synchros without tuners, but extra linking is a very big problem. There's no way, or it should not be pretty much, oh, your opponent controls seven monsters and you cannot literally go to basically a very big part of today's meta or today's game, which is the extra deck. Um, everybody, I mean, there's not, there's only a couple of decks that can function without an extra deck. And you know, you really don't see that. You see what happened to Monarchs when they shut down the extra deck. What happened? They got hit to fucking, I don't know what. I still don't even know where they went. But that deck got shut down. Let me see. Uh, Necros, they didn't really need the extra deck. Um, look what happened to them, even though Necros are pretty broken. But what I'm saying is they don't they don't need the extra deck. True Draco, they got their masterpiece banned. Every other deck that literally stops your opponent from playing, you know, pretty much got hit. Uh, towers got hit, stuff like that. But once again, it was never to the point where you couldn't play. It was just you couldn't break the board. Now, that's a totally different situation to where you could still play and you can try to break a board, but you most likely can't. Or if you do break the board, they're still able to basically bring back a board to beat you. And once again, I, I feel like that's a lot better than just saying, oh, well, I can't play because I can't go into my extra deck. I can't use basically my ho the whole key of the deck is to go to my extra deck and use those to uh, basically um basically uh well, what damn it i don't know the word basically to pump up my main deck to basically the whole like a lot of decks are basically catered around that the game is moving towards extra deck you want everybody to link but when you when you uh, extra linking prevents people from linking so i think that would be a pretty much a big problem vanity emptiness is gone royal depression is gone there's not really be too many people even playing trash to begin with so if you're stopping, if you're if you're getting rid of all the anti-special summoning cards and anti uh, everything like that cards, and you keep something around like extra link, which is not even a card, it's not a com it's, it, it's technically a combo you have to go into, but it's not really, um, it, it, it's not like no card that you need, like oh you need this to trigger to to put this, you need to pay life points, oh but if something happens, a, a board is killed, stuff like that, that's fine with because once again you have options to play around it extra Lincoln the only options you technically have to play around it is cyber dragon um, either main and 40 hand trap and hopefully that stops your opponent or it's uh, cyber dragon and stuff like kaijus and stuff but once again you're most likely not playing that in your deck because why would you, why should you have to main those cards just to just to play Yu-Gi-Oh? like i don't feel like that's necessary i feel like kaijus and stuff and cyber dragon and green dragon walls are inside deck options to basically you know what your opponent's plan is going to do and you want to counter that plan on your turn but it should not be to a point where you have to main those cards just to do something and I don't know about you guys, but who likes to play with a handful of hand traps? I don't like that. I don't I don't think a lot of people do enjoy just playing a hand trap game. It's very, very boring. So I feel like extra Lincoln, once again, should not be able to be used first turn. You can build you can build your board how many want, but that extra zone slot is, re is basically reserved for your opponent. Once your opponent or you can change it to whenever your opponent first when it first gets used you know um but no you know, okay well no because then they'll just link hop we don't want to do that but if you once you choose the zone then your opponent has to put something in that zone but then after they put something in that zone it's basically opened up something along those lines i still think just the first turn thing but if your opponent I, it's either or you either once your opponent uses it then it opens up for everybody or you just can't do it your first turn which i feel like either one of those would be a very good solution and i feel like people will agree with that 
So, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. I know I kind of went back and forth, but you guys let me know what you guys think about my thoughts down below. Um, it has been Busted McBusted signing out. Oh, We're not going to do that. But, yeah, man, if you guys do agree with me, let me know down below. If you disagree, let me know down below. What is your solution? What do you think that the game needs? Do you think a ban list would fix it, or do you think Action Lincoln just does not need to exist, period? You guys let me know all that stuff down below. That is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Once again, like if you did like the video. Um, subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys want to help the channel out, links are in the description down below. But that is it for today. I will see you guys next week.